All right, just for demonstration purposes, I've got my antimatter 30 amp lipo charger running off this big 18650 vac. It's about 55 amp hours, 3s. 30 amps. It is charging into the uh, solar pack. Oh, that's better. I'll turn that light off now we can see. So, with 30 amps, it's pushing 30 amps at 13.4 volts. And it's only pulling 12 or so out of the... Uh, 11.6 at full full load out of that battery pack and it's amplifying it up and getting 30 into there that is just brilliant I think that was sharing between charge controls then hear the fan ramp up Look at how quick that milliamp hour meter's moving. Good way to load test the uh, 18650 pack. Eleven point five volts. Cannot feel any warmth out of that at all. What a beast. Yeah, that's sharing current between charge controls. Some of that must have been getting back to the, uh, the crappy lead acids on the floor. Cause there's two deep cycles, two deep cycles which is what I'm actually charging into. Isn't that awesome? That's similar to the amount of power. Yeah, a bit, little bit more power than what I get out of the solar on a good normal day. That's epic. This little thing's a beast. So what I'll do is I'll let this deplete a bit and then uh, We'll set that and that up on the bench over there and uh, see what it does when we plug it into fast charge that lithium battery. We'll come back. So here we are doing some lithium charging on a 1S. Um, 60p battery. Pushing 13.3 amps at just under 4.2 volts, so just under fully charged, so it's sitting there in a constant constant charge mode. The power supply is doing a good job. Can't see it because of the screw because the backlight, but um it's still got eleven point eight volts in it. It's a hell of a battery pack that. I might actually use this to uh, get an accurate charge up capacity of that. But um, I've just been doing a bit of reading on the way regenerative charging works, and basically what it can do is regenerative discharging. Sorry, that's a mode this beast has. It can pull power out of the battery pack you want to test, puts it backwards through this, and feeds it back into the power source. Being a probably best to be a lead acid battery, gives you a discharge rating. Discharges your thing and charges your source battery, which, which is feeding this. So, for instance, you could use it to charge lead acid banks at the same time as discharging whatever you wanted to discharge to uh, to do your test. So that's an awesome option, and it does up to 30 amp regenerative discharge. That is a huge, huge. Um, Thing. 
it does up to 80 watts inbuilt which just is a uh, just a waste off style just a resistor on the cooling fan but uh, with it pushing 12 amps into this at the moment it's not even breaking a sweat cables aren't getting warm uh, when I was charging the lead acid bank at 30 amps off this uh, these leads were getting warm and so were these but um, yeah, that's pushing it to extremes there's a good chance a lot of the time I'll be using this to charge up these if the UPS's aren't on them just to just to use them but with this I'll actually be able to discharge the three of these that I've had on my UPS's and get a current rating which I can then yeah do something with I can uh, I'll get a almost flat car battery for instance connect these leads to it regenerative discharge suck out of them and it'll tell me how much power they've got and it'll charge the car battery at the same time so I'm not just burning off a bunch of energy as heat for no reason I reckon this is a huge feature another great reason why you should buy one of these now I'll leave the link to Banggood who sent me this beast for review down in the video description click on there it'll take you right to it thanks heaps for watching Catch you on the next video, guys.